you can create a new blank invoice or create an invoice directly from an estimate. To create a new blank invoice, simply double click Create Invoices. This is gonna bring you up to the standard invoice. Now any existing invoices you can see will show up on the left hand side and you can filter those out by company or by date. If you select an existing invoice, you can click on it, the invoice will show up and you can see the summary on the right hand side. To create a new invoice from here, simply click the plus sign next to create invoice on the left hand side. So the first thing you need to do is decide who's the invoice for. From the pull down menu, select your customer. It'll auto populate the bill to address based on what you already had in their customer profile, though you can change that at any time. It also defaults to the next incremental invoice number. And again, you can change that too. You can change the terms for that customer by clicking the pull down. And now you can start line iteming your items for that invoice. Click your mouse in the item field. From the pull down menu, you'll see all the products and services that you set up in the item and service list. So now you can select one. It'll auto populate the description and the price and you can change those too. You can change the rate and you can either click your mouse in another field or hit the tab key to get to the next field. I can enter in a quantity. The amount will automatically get adjusted and I can keep hitting the tab key to move on to another line. So if you like to use the keyboard, this is a great feature to quickly enter items. I can adjust the quantity for anything I want, hit the tab key, and now I can come down to the bottom and select a customer message. This is something that I had selected in the customer profile. Now, if this customer is liable for tax, I need to choose tax from the bottom. And I can also click this button down the bottom that specifies whether or not this customer is taxable. The bottom will tell me what the balance due is, but there's one more thing I wanna show you. If I decide at any time that I don't want a line from this invoice, I can use the right mouse button and choose delete line. I can then add more products and if I wanted to separate all my products from my services, I can add a subtotal. For example, I can right click and choose insert subtotal line. Now a subtotal is something that you have to set up before you can use it. So click the setup button now. What you need to do is change the type to subtotal. And then you can change the item name. I would keep it at subtotal and then click the blue OK button. We've now created a subtotal of our product and I can come down here and add another service-based item. Once I've got my invoice all done, I can then click save and it then opens a new blank one. You'll notice the number is now an incremental number against the last number that I put in. But I'm gonna come over here and click the invoice because we've created it, but we didn't do anything with it yet. There's a few things that we can do. The first thing we need to do is decide what template we're gonna use for this invoice. It defaults to the standard professional template, but there's a few that I can change it to. There's a standard service invoice and product invoice. It changes slightly on the service invoice, it'll add a PO field. And on the product invoice, it will add other fields such as ship dates and ship via. Now you can preview how this is gonna look when you send it to the client at any time by clicking the I icon next to the template. It's gonna switch around and it'll give you a view of what it'll look like if you either print it out on paper or this is what it'll look like as a PDF file if you email it. Click the I to go back to the invoice to work on it. You can even send out a packing slip by selecting standard packing slip. If I hit the preview button, I can then see that the title's changed and it looks a little bit different. Now, once you've got your invoice selected and you've got the template you want, you need to decide whether you wanna print it or email it. You can print it immediately by clicking the print icon. You can also email it immediately by clicking email this invoice now. It's gonna come up with a bunch of words as part of a template and you can change this if you want. 
If you click send, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to send it, but it'll open it up in your default email program that you have on that computer and it'll send it out. Now you can also decide whether or not you want to email or print this as a batch later, maybe at the end of the day, once you've done all your transactions. So you can click any of these buttons at the bottom, such as email it later or print it later. You can also choose to do both. When you're happy with your changes, click save. You can close out of the invoice field. And when you're ready to batch print everything, you can select file, either print forms or email forms. So that's how easy it is to work with all your invoices. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to create progress invoicing.